Hi, Donal. It's so nice to chat with you today about your new series, Frank of Ireland. I just, I love Irish humor. My favorite series of all time is Father Ted. And this has a little bit of the same humor. um, So I really enjoyed it. And I wondered, um, how did you come up with the premise for it? And did you always picture yourself and your brother, Brianne, as the leads? Well, thank you so much. First of all, I love Father Ted myself, and that was an absolutely huge deal when I was a teenager and remains a kind of a shining light in Irish comedy, obviously. It's such a wonderful program. And it's good. It's very nice to uh, talk to a fellow fan. And um, uh, yeah, so the, the way the, pr- the program sort of came about was that myself and, and Brian, uh, um, Brian said maybe we should try and write something fun together. We had worked together previously. And I had, I had been writing sketches over the years with, with uh, Michael Maloney, who's a fantastic writer. And the three, uh, so we just, the three of us got in a room and talked about what would make us laugh. And Frank, I guess, gr- grew out of that. Um, it was always Brian was, was, was front and center. It was always the plan was for Brian to be uh, our lead and for the program to be about him. And then fairly early on in the process, the notion of his sort of best friend who he bullies sort of came into it. And, uh, and I think I was always nailed on to play uh, doofus and I think he was always called doofus which looking back is absolutely insane uh, but there you go it happened you've done a lot of drama films and, and shows was it like a great relief to just break out and do some outrageous comedy it was and I and I think um, myself and Brian have both done a reasonable amount of heavy work over the years uh, which I adore and look to all the time and then with this, it just, if you're going to create something for yourselves, why not do something that you don't get to do all that often? And and also maybe do the thing that I watch a lot, you know, just comedy is such a bam at times of, um, at any time, even if times are good, comedy is the most amazing thing. And so, yeah, throwing ourselves into silliness and just doing something which hopefully has a sort of a um, joie de vivre or whatever like that about it, just a, just a rambunctious element to it. The notion of kind of, getting to do that for work um, was wonderful. And then madly you find out that actually comedy is quite a serious business as you go along and trying to make things funny is quite difficult. Um, But that was part of the fun as well. So far the show has six episodes. Are there plans to write more or have you written more? No, we've not written more. And and the way it is at the moment is that we wanted to come up with a climax to the six episodes. We wanted it to build to something and end up somewhere and almost have something to say about Frank while keeping it just as silly and just as funny all the way through. So in a way, that's its own little story in terms of a period of Frank's life, if you you know what I mean. Um, And then, but we we text each other all the time ideas for... uh, other stories for Frank, other things he can do, other things he could do with those people, myself and Brian and Michael. And so, yeah, you never say never. We're going to wait and see how people enjoy it. And uh, and we'll take it from there. This show has such a great cast. How involved were you in the casting process? We were very involved in the casting process. And it was a difficult process because we saw so many, like Ireland is just chock-a-block with the most amazing actors. So we saw, it was like an embarrassment of riches. And we thought about all these amazing people as well. But the people that ended up playing the parts, I think, are just, now, of course, you can't imagine it with anybody else. That they, oh man, oh, we just got so, so lucky. We've got some of the best actors in Ireland in this. Um, and they're all, do, they're all there to do the stupidest, silliest stuff. And I think, you know, these very, like any one of them you could pick and, and, and look at like some very serious stuff they've done. And I think they just brought that rigor to also doing comedy, which obviously is a very rigorous process itself. Um, but yeah, it was, it was brilliant. We were very lucky. Now, growing up in Ireland, did you have favorite comedy series that perhaps inspired you? Well, certainly Father Ted would be, you know, near the top of the list. I used to watch Faulty Towers with my uh, grandparents. Myself and Brian used to watch a lot of Jim Carrey like comedies growing up we loved mr bean we loved blackadder all that in the naked gun movies the the police squad all that sort of stuff the simpsons so stuff from all over the map uh uh in terms of tone um but yeah and then in 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 recent years i think fleabag made an absolutely i don't think it's very obvious in the show because uh fleabag is perhaps more obviously uh, occupied with serious uh, preoccupations as well as the very funny stuff. But I think as the series progresses, hopefully we get to a slightly deeper place. And I think Fleabag would have been a big uh, influence on that. Now, 
Peter Rabbit 2 is finally coming out. I know parents are going to be so thrilled to take their kids to that because the first one was so cute. Um, <laughs> How, diff how much different is it to work on a film like Peter Rabbit as opposed to a TV series like Frank of Ireland? You have a lot more time on Peter Rabbit. We, we had to hustle to get Frank of Ireland over the line. Um, obviously, Frank of Ireland is for a much more adult sort of uh, group. There are jokes in that that you will be put in prison for if you made them in Peter Rabbit, and mm -hmm. rightly so. Uh, but strangely, there is, a, there is a similar joy in the process. Again, the aim with... Uh, Peter Rabbit was to make kids laugh and to have something for the adults as well, similarly with the sequel. And with Frank of Ireland, you're just trying to make, you're just trying to make people laugh, you know? And humor is such a specific thing. It, it's never going to be for everybody. So Peter Rabbit's not going to be for everybody. Frank of Ireland's for a very different audience, but that won't be for everybody. And I think that that's as it should be, you know? I think hopefully we'll find our audience with both things uh, and hopefully they'll like it. Where are you located right now? Is it London? or Ireland and, and what, how is production happening right now? Is, is everything in lockdown or are you starting back into production on, on certain things? It's been a really, really uh, long year. So even on Frank of Ireland, we had to break for the summer. So we were five weeks into a six week shoot and we had to shut down because the pandemic hit and it didn't feel safe or right to go to work. And then we had to come back on the far side of it, uh, not on the far side of it, because we're still not on the far side of it, but until things had opened up again, um, to kind of finish it out. But there's been a lot shooting in Ireland uh, over the last while. And so it's just about taking the precautions and doing things right. But I've not been, um, I've not found the right thing to return to work just yet. Um, but I'm hoping that that will change in the very near, very near future, you know, fingers crossed. But there's lots of stuff happening in Ireland, which is amazing. Okay, I hope to see you in many more things in the near future. I hope you've got some stuff that will be lined up shortly. And thank you so much for this show. It's, it's incredibly hilarious and I really enjoyed it. I'm delighted you liked it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. You too.